So now that all the Dodge people and all the crowd has left over at Dodge, I can actually finally critique in person the new EV charger. I know my last video people really didn't like it, but it isn't as wide as it looks in videos. I still do like the wheels. I didn't notice that the lips were carbon fiber. I'm guessing that's like another speed core thing that they have going on and the side skirts kind of look like they're carbon. It's hard to tell. Maybe it's just painted black like the lip. It almost kind of looks like they're using like a Challenger style front bumper going on. As you can see on the edge, it just has like that little fin off instead of just going straight down like the Challengers would normally be. And then the front part of it also kind of has like that Challenger look right there where it goes just flat and then these vents on the side kind of have that same thing going on but they're carbon on the inside where the ducts are and then down there it has like these weird little i don't know if they did that on purpose and let's see but it has like these little teeth Then the, the front emblem is like a uh, like a weird bubble. You can't, I don't know if you can see it. It doesn't look like an emblem, it just looks like a plastic bubble and then it lights up. And then that, you know, that vent just goes straight up. It just looks kind of like, I don't know, like an older, I guess an older Challenger, but it's using a lot of the newer Challenger kind of, you know, body lines, which, isn't that bad it's you know the same color as my hellcat challenger which is the i'm guessing this is octane red the hood it just kind of dips right there and that's flat almost it kind of has like a little raised thing going on right there the mirrors they're also carbon fiber the wheels and tires i'm gonna say they're probably you know better than they looked i don't think they had slicks all the way around when they re unveiled it i think when they unveiled it in black it kind of did it more of an injustice this red looks a lot better and you can see a lot more of the body lines you can actually see some of the details with the carbon fiber accents and that light bar that i guess that's a light bar in the front i can't remember if that lights up or not but i'm guessing it does just the color it is and i like that they went with like the black plastic instead of that you know that kind of just unfinished plat or like the gloss black plastic instead of that unfinished plastic look it just kind of gets deteriorated over time really quick um, my challenger the front grill part is already you know kind of fades quick but uh, another thing like i said it doesn't look as wide as it did in the videos so you know it just kind of has like that first not like the kind of like the first gen magnum width is what it looks like just a lot you know smoother transition you don't have that rough wheel flare that it would have but it looks like it has the same width if you put wide body wheels on here i bet they'd have like the same poke as they do on like the first gen magnums so the rear you know has that like little bit further push out which looks more like you know some over fenders that were put on it This is gonna be all the colors that are available on this thing. So it looks like plum crazy. Um, it looks like a baby blue. I'm not exactly sure if they've had that before. The striker green. So I have this color on the VR4, striker green on the Durango Hellcat. This looks almost like the forest green, but it's a lot darker. So this is like a different color. That's like my brake calipers, which is like a tennis ball yellow. I'm guessing these I mean, some of them look exactly like the color. That's most likely striker green, and that's plum crazy. But some of these don't like, this doesn't look like Go Mango, and these are like base colors. So that's like a, kind of like a tennis ball. That's like an orange. Uh, I thought they were getting rid of the Destroyer Gray, but that looks like Destroyer Gray. And then this is like, almost like my truck's color, a little bit darker. It's like a brown, burgundy-ish metallic color but all these other ones are just bases base 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 so and that blue's a base so they have three metallic colors 
and I'm guessing they're gonna do the octane red, which I'm guessing that's the color of this. The rear, the one thing I do like is the lights, how they did them. The, you know, the 400Z Nissan, they did those weird lights, but I really think that these lights on the back of the car do go with it. Um, the rear vents or ducts are actually carbon fiber, just like the fronts. Uh, I kind of like how the rear bumper is laid out. It almost has like that Hellcat charger look. I guess it is a charger, but it looks more like a, you know, it's kind of in between a charger and a challenger at this point because they've been making the challengers for so long that it just kind of, kind of blends together. Um, the whole roof is glass, just like kind of like a Tesla and it's tinted. So that, you know, the hatch opens just like a Tesla pretty much. So we have one thing that a Tesla doesn't have. Usually the Model X's and the other performance models have wings that go up and, you know, retract and everything, which doesn't look like this thing has a wing option at all, which it also is using a lot smaller Brembo brakes. So it looks like it's using the same calipers for the front and the rear or maybe the same calipers that come on the scat pack. And it really doesn't need super huge brakes because it is an EV, it should regen. I heard the power, like the horsepower figures on this thing are in the 600s, not even 700 horse. So unfortunately, a lot of people were saying, you know, this has a 900, I believe it was a 900 volt battery pack and it's only producing 650-ish horse, bare, under 700 horsepower which is kind of, you know, with 900 volts, it's kind of a sad story. So like I said before, I think Dodge should have worked with Tesla and I'm not exactly sure how hard that would have been, but they could have put a plaid unit in the rear, you know, a smaller drive unit in the front, been well over the thousand horsepower range and just destroyed everybody in the EV market besides Tesla because this thing weighs so much more. But who knows what the actual weight figures of this is. Uh, I'm guessing it's lighter than the DeLorean, but, it's probably heavier than a Tesla. So I'm gonna say, all in all, this looks so much better in red. It almost looks, I guess it doesn't look like, it kind of looks like a Tesla door handle, but um, I've already said there's so much Tesla resemblance on this thing that people are gonna probably be mad at me again. Uh, I do like how the windows go. It does have that Challenger look right there. Um, I wish there was a Challenger over here, but they have the convertible. Hellcat one over there, but yeah, it has that Challenger swept look right there. I really like the glass roof um, being tinted. I think from the factory, hopefully they they come tinted. Looks like the front windshield might be tinted. Maybe it will be like the Tesla where you end up having to get it tin all the windows because you're getting cooked by the glass roof. But all in all, I would say this thing looks so much better in person and in red instead of black because black you really couldn't see the body lines it's still not as wide as it did look in videos i could bust out a tape measure but eh, i mean it does look wide so one other thing i noticed was something i really don't like about my challenger and charger is i don't know if you can see it from here but all of that trim instead of it being that rubber stuff is actually gloss black. I don't know if they're gonna keep it like that. Even the rear lower lips or whatever the moldings are all gloss black. The front lip is gloss black. It looks a lot cleaner. I think they should keep it like that. I think they should change all of like the Challenger and Durango Hellcat and stuff like that to instead of that bare plastic to the gloss black where it would last a lot longer. Mirrors kind of look cool. I kind of wish I could take those off of this car and put them on my Challenger. They look a little bit more aggressive. The Challenger ones are all bubbly. They're probably kind of hard to see out of. The one thing I also have noticed about this car, I'm not sure if I'm just not seeing it, but in Teslas, you have the camera system. So when you turn on your turn signals, um, you know, Challengers already have quite a few blind spots. It shows up on the display when you have your turn signal on. I'm guessing this thing isn't gonna have self-driving like a Tesla. It's probably not gonna have a lot of the features like a Tesla. It doesn't look like it has a sonar sensor in the front. So it's probably not gonna have adaptive cruise control, but this is a concept car. So who knows what's actually gonna come of this thing. I guess we'll see. This is gonna wrap up 
my review of Dodge's section of SEMA. I think it's, you know, they brought a lot of cool stuff, but there is a lot of kind of stuff that they, you know, I think they probably should improve in, but nobody cares what I think. But I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.